In Godot, node inheritance allows node classes to inherit properties and methods. We can view a node as an object that contains properties. The values of these properties dictate how the node behaves. For example, a Sprite2D node contains a lot of properties, including the visible property, which specifies if the node should be hidden or visible. It also has the texture property, which specifies the image the node should display, and there are a few others. Actually, you can view the properties of a node in the inspector doc, but make sure to select the node in the scene doc first. Let's take another example. Let's examine the properties of a collision shape 2D. It contains the shape property, which specifies the shape of the node. There is also the visible property, which specifies if the node should be hidden or visible. And again, there are other properties that you can check in the inspector panel. Notice here that some properties are common between these two nodes, like the visibility property. And this is exactly what inheritance allow you to do. It allows us to factor out all the common properties shared between different node classes, and then make these nodes inherit these properties. So in this case, the visibility property is shared between Collision Shape 2D and Sprite 2D. So it is factored out in the Canvas Item Node class. Actually, these separating titles you see in the Inspector panel tell you where did specific properties come from. For example, if we check Sprite 2D, we will find it inherits properties like Position, Rotation, Scale from Node 2D. And it also inherits properties like Modulate, Visible, and others from Canvas Item. And it also defines its own properties, like texture and center properties. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.